I think, you know, we're interested in avant-garde cinema and avant-garde movie making, and I think that we can learn some things about the avant-garde by getting into avant-garde smoothie making. And I think that's the, uh, the trick is to realize that disparate ingredients that seem like they wouldn't work together, when you blend it in the right way, they, they actually are quite delicious. And so you might be appalled. I know you have resisted some of these ingredients, but, and it doesn't have to be this set of ingredients. Well, I think my main lesson here is just don't be afraid to mix things that don't obviously seem like they go together because you can put a lot of nutrition into one smoothie. Am these I allowed are... to interject? Yes, you please interject. There's just a theory that your, your gut can only um digest so many things uh -huh. at any given like so many nutrients and that if you overload it it's the the nutrients of all of these amazing ingredients um are not bioavailable to you so you when you mix them all together you're not actually perhaps getting all of the nutritional benefits this seems that... like a, a reactionary theory to me made by conservatives uh, who are so interested much. in tradition, and I'm interested in breaking the, you know, through the expectations of what goes into smoothie. It's actually science. I want to see the I want to see the cited paperwork. Okay. But anyway, so far I put bananas that you've put in, and it's then like I put four in bananas. Some, what's that? Well, I'm making smoothies for everyone, I think. Oh, okay. A handful of blueberries. I was gonna fill this up. Oh, okay. A handful of blueberries. Some gluten-free muesli which has in it oats and raisins and almonds and sunflower seeds and cranberries, just a little dash of them. I think the science also says that if you have too much mono monoculture, which is what we tend towards, a little keto matcha latte, mm -hmm. just a, a, a pinch, a little bit of I'm using as the liquid this amazing genius smoothies, which are all coconut meat and coconut water. At what point do you think that we've reached the, the too many ingredients where we stop having them be bioavailable? What's your theory? I, I don't know. I mean, we are supposed to definitely be, you don't want to be eating the same things every day. Yeah. You want a biodiversity, but it's more of like, um, all of these different Super ingredients reads. that you're putting in here for the gut to properly digest them. There's like different processes, different enzymes mm -hmm. for you to actually absorb them and for them to not just go through your pee or your shit. Uh -huh. And so it's, it's not like, oh, we want to make boring smoothies, but we want to make the most out of what we're putting into our body because sometimes we think we're being healthy, but actually we're just peeing out all the nutrients. That That's we... what happens when people take vitamins, I think, instead of taking it inside the food that they eat. This is really good crunchy almond butter that comes from my favorite store, grocery outlet. <laughs> you know, we bought a lot a of- Nice almond... big chunks of almond, almond butter. A little bit of manuka honey. What? No, we don't need that. Oh, shush. Use a backseat smoothie maker. I'm going to make my it. own smoothie after this. <laughs> That's the thing. Most times I make people smoothies, I don't tell them what's in them because I think they're going to be freaked out. And then they drink it and they're like, what did you put in it? No, so it's good. not that it doesn't taste good. It tastes really good. Turmeric and ginger root in its entirety. And then you told me that turmeric is not absorbed unless you put black pepper. So I'm going to put a little black pepper. Oh, it's the curcumin. Yep. It's not absorbed otherwise. A little bit of pomegranate juice. 100% oh, pure. I got to make my own smoothie. But you always love my smoothies. That's I do. I love the taste, but I want, I don't want to overwhelm my gut. But have they, has it felt overwhelmed the last few days? Because you've been eating this every day. Drinking this every day. I also just want to actually absorb things. I don't believe this theory. Please post in the comments if you... Um... There's a lot of, of nutritional science. I want to I know... Wow.
sounds good. Put a I mean, I'm ice. certainly not an expert, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop then with no more ingredients. What and else then, would you have put in there? I did mean, you put the super greens? I didn't put the super greens. I didn't put collagen. I didn't put olive oil, which I do sometimes. What? Which, by the way, I learned yesterday, you should never be frying with olive oil too hot. That I know, yes. But you do that sometimes. Anyway. I actually the lid? use avocado oil. Yeah. Anyway. Other kinds of oil sometimes. A powerful blender is a good thing. This is a thousand watts. <laughs> Hear it crunching all of these delicious ingredients. Master of the avant garde. Anyway, I don't think it's an avant garde uh, um, movie or smoothie if it just pleases everyone. So. But I did it want does to please, please everyone. No, this doesn't, but not you, not the critic. Well, it pleases my taste buds. Oh my God, it's so good. See, a real avant-garde smoothie making would, would make be something that doesn't gross, taste good. Gross, gross <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> anyway, there it is. It's going to be different today than it was yesterday. Sometimes I put yogurt in it. Sometimes I put... Um, whole almonds, so there's a bit of collagen in there, olive oil, any fruits that I find. Sometimes I'll put whole pieces of broccoli in there. Um, so that's for the next episode, maybe we'll be surrealist uh, smoothie making. Um, then we'll do futurist smoothie making and maybe we could just like make a smoothie after each um, art movement inspired. This is my attempt at avant-garde smoothie making. Thank you. <laughs> skeptic, the skeptic here. How's it taste? Tastes good. <laughs> That's the last smoothie you get from me. What? Last smoothie you get from me. Really? Yeah, because you're not grateful. You're I critical. I am grateful. <laughs>